we are back here in Spain, in Aragon, and this time we have the opportunity to secure both the team title and the driver title with Jan. We have nothing else, we just want to win the titles. We are getting closer to the end, uh, nothing is done yet, everything is to be done, it's now we have to be good. It is currently still very misty, very foggy, and will be very, very low grip. Only the top 12 make it through to Q2. Guilherme is down in 17th. This is a disaster. An absolute unmitigated horror story for Esteban Guilherme. He thought he could be the title winner this year. He thought, I'm not going to let 2019 get me down. This is my year. What on earth do you say to him? Oh my goodness, look at that lap from Jan LSJ. Out of the final turn, what's he going to grab? It's third. Is it pole position? Oh, yes, it is. Look at that time. You know, the feeling is great. I'm very happy that we're all in Q3 and managed to yeah. deliver the The main, the the main thing was to have uh, four cars in top 10. We are. Ivan is P10, so he will start at the front. We are in Q3 in the front. Yeah. Really good, could not ask for more, so really happy. We had a strategy and it really worked out well. So a really good qualifying for the Lincoln Co-Cars and hopefully we can score really important points tomorrow and take home the championship. This man definitely has one hand on the title. Jan Elishe is 31 points clear of Esteban Guerrieri. If he finishes first or second in race one with Guerrieri out of the points, he clinches the title. Time to go racing for the FIA World Touring Car Cup title. Some drivers going full slick, some going split with wet and slick. This is when we'll see the tyres either bite or fall off the cliff like Billio. Girolami takes the lead. Absolutely phenomenal from P12 on the grid. Just so little grip out there, and uh, Girolami's doing the best job of being able to find some. There's a spin, it's one of the Lincoln codes. There's better grip on the outside for Arusha. Oh, there you go, that's Montero off. So 25 points for the win, 20 for second place. Get those cars swapped around. He's left it to the last possible moment. Guilherme goes through, and Esteban Guilherme is going to get his fourth win. And now <laughs> Guilherme is 16 points behind Elisha. The game is open. Everybody was so convinced that the track was going to dry up like it did yesterday. But it didn't. And we should have matched uh, the rare car, which is a big competition. Issues the slick tires in the front and the rain tires in the rear. That was definitely the winning strategy. Usually in a touring car race, you cannot go from almost last position to, to win, but in these conditions, he could. You know that there's no grip when Ivan Muller is struggling to stay on the road. We lost quite a lot of points, but actually, we will start in front of him in both the upcoming races, so I'm quite confident. Let's race for the second time at Adagan. There is where the world title dies. Ted Bjork giving Elisha the place, that's tactical. Arusha absolutely rolling his sleeves up. Ivan Muller, no pressure, knowing that his nephew is about to become a World Touring Car Cup winner. Oh, it's yeah. yeah. Game over for All Inkle Munich to win the title. Because Jan is six, so he gets 10 points. Team just telling him, you just need to hold this position. If you do, you'll be 26 points clear with 25 available. You'll win the title, mate. Why is he just on close then? Keep the distance. Ivan Muller is going to come through and take his first win of 2020. Jan Elashe is the World Touring Car Cup champion, the youngest ever. Come on, everyone, get out here when we just won the championship. Thanks for the end of my life to you. You are fucking walking it. You are the guys. You are the guys.
second race is just over. P1 with Ivan, P6 with Jan, which means that we have won both championships. His visor is down for a reason. <laughs> this is He's absolutely classic. weeping. I'm absolutely not crying, weeping. you're crying. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I still don't really realize what is happening. I'm super proud and super thankful to anyone that supports us. He's by continuing to try. Probably the best race of the season, not because I won the race, but because uh, Jan finished P6 and that was enough to be world champion. It's a bit strange to go to another race now. We still can make Ivan uh, in the top three of the championship, so I will assist my teammate and I will help them as much as I could. Let's do it for the final time in 2020. Good start from Elache. The dream start. Barusha. Gideon is one point ahead of Muller and Vernet. He could not be closer for second in the world title rankings. Oh, he's still one point behind. So if, if you put classify Ivan fourth, what yep. do you get? Then it doesn't matter if the JK is. Bjorn cuts right across in the breaking zone. That's such a big move. Oh, and here we go. we go. That is the master tactician <laughs> move. Muller gets them both. And Askina is hopping mad. Hey, Arriba, <laughs> vamos, Santiago Arusha. That's what the Uruguayan motorsport fans will be screaming back home, and they've been waving those flags and typing those Uruguayan flag emojis on social media. Tassi is slowing to let Guidiani come through. Second place in the title standings is not done yet. Santiago Arusha takes the victory in the final race of the season here in Aragon and Jan Elache ends his victorious season in the podium positions. But it's the fairy tale. Gideon is third, but has got it by a point. Elache is the champion. Arusha is the final winner of 2020. Final race. And it's fantastic, we managed to get Ivan into P2 in the championship, which is great. So next year we will have one and two on the course. Santi got a chance to show how fast he is. So he won the race, which is great for him. And Jan finished second. So really happy for the whole team. I'm uh, super happy with that uh, Jan and myself. We are first and second on the final result. Winning the World Cup is insane. And winning with Ivan together P1, P2 is even more insane. Two titles in 17, one in 18, one in 19, and two in 20. So amazing job by the team. We never knew how long the championship would last. So in essence, they put the pressure on themselves to lead after each week and both championships, which in fact they managed to do. Jan Elasje becoming the youngest world champion in the world of touring cars, surpassing his uncle who took a second position. So a big thanks to everyone. So raise your glasses. Cheers team, we did it! Yeah. So I had a bet with our engineer, if we were going to win the championship, I would get his haircut. Well, we won. Nearly as good. Yeah.